Yo, what it do? It's Three Wands, a series where knowledge is given to you to turn into wisdom. I'm Lord Shu. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you're new to the channel, please like this video, comment, tell me how I can make the videos better, and also subscribe because why wouldn't you? I'm Lord Shu. So, anyways, let's get into it. We back with another episode. And this particular segment of videos is new. So we're going to talk about the laws, the universal laws at that. There are seven core universal laws. And today we're gonna to talk about the first one, the law of mentalism. So let's talk about the law of mentalism. As a kid, you might've had an imaginary friend or you just had a really good imagination that when you played with your siblings or your friends, y'all would imagine worlds and you were going on adventures. And sometimes you'd just be in your living room or your backyard or just a park. But it felt like you were a knight saving a princess or um, what me and my friends used to do is I used to pretend I was Luke Skywalker and we were on bicycles and those were our X-Wings and we were the Rogue Squadron but I felt like Luke Skywalker. And it, it uh, built up my leadership qualities as a kid, which I use today. So what, is this, what does this mean? Where am I going with this? Well, the first law, the law of mentalism. All is mental. The all is in the mind. And what that means is everything around you is created by your thoughts. Everything around us is created by other people's thoughts, right? So I'll even give you another perspective. The all is mind. If we were talking in terms of science, God is a gigantic brain and we are all a part of God's imagination, right? So that would mean that God lives through the human experience, through us by experiencing our lives as spirit. But also it gets even cooler. You, that automatically makes you the big brain, the brain. So that means that you might think that you're having a thought, but in fact, you are the thought existing and everything around you is the thoughts of other people existing. But all these thoughts are coming from the big brain. But in reality, you are that big brain living through the imagination. So what does this mean, Lord Shu? Well, knowing this, one would ask themselves, well, what can I do with this information? For starters, the first thing you can do is take control of what you're thinking, which is why we're talking about Hybrid Manual as a whole, as a magazine, and also the keys to the island. The lifestyle showing that, hey, I can create a system, a way of living, and completely be concentrated and focused on me, on my thoughts right so the law of mentalism comes here and it takes it takes you understanding self to understand oh when i understand self i understand everything i understand everybody you transcend the ego and then you become everything so with the info being given to you how can you turn it to wisdom because you know i gotta i gotta give some kind of action that you can use. So here's, here's a few things that you can do to practice the law of mentalism in your everyday life. I've mentioned before in uh, previous um, episodes during, during our talk about the book of focus, gratitude, being grateful for what is what is. Some people are given a really crappy circumstance in life and come out on top because they mastered the mental, mind over matter. If we're, if we're gonna simplify this mind over matter. Another way to practice mentalism is to use affirmations. Now, what an affirmation is, is something that you affirm to yourself. Affirming what you're doing to yourself because hearing yourself say something, it's like God telling you, hey, this is what it's gonna be. And then you do the action and then you're now you're automatically meeting the universe halfway and boom, it manifests. So when you wake up first thing in the morning, you're automatically already happy in a good mood because you're thinking about 
the things that make you happy in life and you and you put forth the energy so those are affirmations or uh something like i am eating ice cream i am already eating ice cream you know what i'm saying you're you're almost using like hypnosis technique on yourself so affirming your desires is another way to practice mentalism also debate debating but in a way where you're not arguing with arguing with people but you're debating with other human beings to find solutions and why debate you ask when you debate with other human beings the all mind starts to come into play because egos will keep people from actually agreeing with each other in places where they should be agreeing so when you debate and then you debate in a way where you have no ill will to that, towards that person, but instead you're looking for the solution to the answers as you're debating, the all mind begins to work because one person is looking for that solution. Another person is looking for that solution. A group of people are looking for a solution and they're putting together their mental. You, you, you see the cohesiveness, then it becomes one. Now it's like three minds becoming one. And then boom, God consciousness, and then real solutions are found. So these are probably the three best ways to lower shoe, to practice the law of mentalism. I'm sure there's many other ways, but these are just some examples that you can use to practice so that you can become one with self on a mental level. So you, so the, the equation of mind over matter begins to, to click on. So that's it for today's episode, y'all. If you feel in this episode, if you like these these uh this video, please leave a comment, let me know. Like the video, y'all. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. It's Laura Shu. Holla.